back to the swamp, he had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators staring with all he had ever known. What would Aaron do now? Ah, the book closed. No one must put Pedro alone. Let's see. I already finished the page, so on my next page, poor Alan began to cry, just a bit at first, but then the tears kept coming. <laughs> he howled and yelled more than all the jungle babies put together, and he could not stop crying until... Next morning, all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. And so every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nail, and brushing nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser, Snappy Cooks, and Alan the dentist. dentist. Mm. For every night he became Alan the big scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. <laughs> I love being scary, laughed Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. <laughs> This is the book that I read to Yasmin and Yusuf. That's my story.